Hi my friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a simple recipe. Um, I'm going to be using the steak I had left over from yesterday's recipe. And what I did, I added some water, added some marmite, added some Worcester sauce, a little bit of corn flour to thicken that up. So that's going to be our gravy and hopefully add more um, seasoning to the steak. Now I've already got that cooked and cooled down and I'm going to be using some frozen Brussels sprouts which is, I've also pre-cooked and let them cool down. Because we're going to do some steak and Brussels sprout bakes, I'm going to be using this second packet of puff pastry that I bought. So yeah, simple recipe, hopefully tasty. So let's get cracking, let's get cooking. So the first thing we're going to do is open our packet of puff pastry. And as you see, I've got my table floured already. Now obviously you can use whatever ingredients you have. I'm doing it this way because it's what I had left over. So take the paper off. As I said, it's quite simple. So what we're going to do is cut this pastry in roughly half and then we're going to cut it into roughly thirds and then we're going to add our filling So as you can see, there's big chunks of um, meat there. You're just covering the middle. nice big chunks of steak and then we're just going to add some Brussels sprouts that I cut up like so and then we're going to add this as a top Just slightly press down. I will use a fork to finish that off. Same with this one. And then a same with this one. Now as you see I've still got some left which I can make homemade pies with. So I'm going to use a fork. So I'm going to use a fork just to go around them. Just to seal that in. And then we're going to brush them with a milk wash like so 
and then just a little vent at the top. And then I'll go into my air foil, like so. And then we're going to air fry that and then we're going to do the same with the other two. So as you can see there's the end products. Now I've cut this one open in half so you can see what it looks like inside. So let's give this a taste test. So this has had time to cool down. Mmm. That is really... That is really, really nice. The meat's now more tender. More flavour from the Marmite yeast extract um and the Worcester sauce so mm. and the pastry goes so well with that now it took me 10 minutes in the air fryer five minutes on one side five minutes on the other side done and I did that on 180. So if you like the content, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. Click the notification bell for new uploads, which I try and do daily. Don't forget to, subs to comment in the comment box. Thank you for watching this one, my friends. Until the next video, goodbye.